啦啦。Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. We're in Lower Bullocks, and we're currently upgrading a machine.、Um, we have a ghost. I'm sure she'll deal with that once she's done there, Julia.、Um, let's have a look here because I've just seen here. Look, ward required, and these two do need a ward. In fact, this person looks like they need a. Oh dear, what's wrong with them? Are they all right? They're not looking too good, are they? They have lazy bones, skeletal fatigue. Caused by a lack of calcium in the diet, so they seriously need a ward. They are running out of time.、Um, so、uh, we are going to get them to wait.、Uh, machines can be upgraded. We are doing it.、Um, an upgraded diagnosis machine gives a bigger boost to a patient's diagnosis. Okay, and an upgrade to a treatment machine is much more successfully、uh, is much more likely to successfully cure patients. A、uh, bit like our、um, drug dispenser that we're currently、um, upgrading. So upgrades for each machine can be acquired by completing challenges and eventually through our own research too.、Uh, once we have unlocked an upgrade, we'll need a janitor trained in mechanics to upgrade each machine.、Um, so that's what. That's what we've done. We've done that, and we'll also get them to wait. So let's leave this on pause a minute、um, because I don't want anything bad to happen here, and we need a ward.、Um, so let's see. Now a ward、um, is a room that is used、uh, for both diagnosis purposes and treatment. So.、Um, Unlike a GP's office, which only really deals、uh, with diagnosis,、um, and unlike、um, a pharmacy that only does curing, it's very similar to the psychiatry. Really, it does both diagnosis and treatment, which means that you can get some big queues building up there if、uh, if you're not looking out for it.、Um, if you know. Slight gap in in knowledge, and and that could become a problem、um, with queues, right?、Um, uh, or more that you know queues are going to happen, but you're not entirely sure the best the best way to deal with it. Well, sometimes more、um, variety of diagnosis areas will help alleviate pressure on those other places that do. Diagnosis. Am I making any sense? <laughs> Am I making any sense right now? I'm concentrating. This, this, this is the problem. We want some nurses lockers. Yes, we do.、Uh, actually, where do we want them? Should we put them here? This might be nice. Let's get rid of this.、Um, ooh. Now, I've heard a few complaints about windows in wards, but hey, I'm not going to put any beds under them, so that should be okay. Yeah? No?、Uh, is this bad? <laughs> Tell me if you hate it. But I think this is the way that it's going to be. Oh, look! These medicine cabinets. I love them because, of course, they do diagnose and treat, which means they are perfect, right, for the the、uh, the ward. Absolutely perfect.、Um, Shall we also put? We're going to put, I think, this one here.、Um, and what we could do is just. Oh, oh, I think I think it's the closest it's going. This bed's a bit out of place. I I don't think I can live with that. That's better, isn't it? That's better, right? Um, because we can get a filing cabinet in here. That might be nice. Um, and I wonder actually. Let's get rid of this. Move this a second because um another thing staff really like is this cupboard. So let's oh. I think that's a bit crooked. It's not too bad, is it? But let's see if we can get it just a little bit better. There we go.、Um, oh, please, please, please. Right there. Okay. A little look. We're creating like a little、uh, a little nook for the、um, for the nurses' station, which I think is kind of nice.、Um, we need a clock. I think a clock. Will be good. We'll deal with radiators afterwards. What I've noticed is that、um, you can't see what sort of area 
a radiator is going to heat when you're in blueprinting mode. So I tend to build it and then we just add those items. I found that that is much, much easier. Not that we need radiators on this level. Um, look, what do we want here? I think, because we've got quite a lot of kudosh, um, I think we're going to get the drinking fountain because it reduces thirst. And this can be really good uh, for a room like the ward because the staff get thirsty while working. If they have a way of dealing with that where they're working, then fantastic, right? Now, we can put coffee machines in a GP's office, but we can't put them in a ward and we can't put... Um, uh, vending machines either so this is the solution um, so it's always um, not just about things like this which we're going to unlock this wall monitor which also uh, increases treatment and diagnosis power so we're also going to be uh, bunging a couple of these in probably one by the looks of it it's a small ward um, so I'll pop one of those in but you do need to be considering um, how your staff are going to be in in the room right um what's going to entertain entertain them we also need to make sure that um their needs are being dealt with as much as we can i mean you can't you can't deal with all of them so these are good for um their hygiene um these chairs can be great for their comfort but the nurses do have these although I like the idea as though people come to visit, right? So we're going to have like little visiting areas. But you'll see that the nurses use these. We'll, we'll sit on. It'll be the nurses that sit on these. Oh, it's not right. I think we'll just put them back up against. <laughs> it's just, let's just put them back up against there. Um, lots of posters. This one increases hospital attractiveness and room prestige. Now, this is interesting. Maybe we should talk about these three things because I've noticed a lot of confusion and I actually um, didn't help with that confusion a couple of episodes ago. What is room prestige, hospital levels and reputation? There's so many of these little bars and what do they all mean and what do they have in relation to each other? So... I think it's worth covering a little bit. What we'll do is we'll finish building this ward because I think we're pretty close now. Um, let's get some plants in and and we'll talk about that a bit. I think that would be rather snazzy. Let's put a plant here and a plant here. Um, and we could do with a, a good bin. Look, we've got a we've got a big bin. We'll put a big bin there. So we've got a nice little staff area uh, building up. Um, What's this? This is training speed, training speed, training speed, uh, attractiveness. This is also attractiveness. All these are attractiveness. I quite like this is quite cheap and also has attractiveness. And it can look, it's like the children have, have drawn pictures for the, for the, uh, the staff on the ward. Ah, ah, uh, training speed. Um, this is, uh, increases hospital attractiveness um, I'm going to put this in here as though it's like one of those good advice things to read <laughs> the food groups look I think that's quite nice we could open the way um, the toxic waste in fact we will get this toxic waste bin so we've got three bins it seems so far in this game the toxic waste bin is the best one at the moment it seems to be able to be placed in rooms and I don't even think all of them at the moment but that may change by release. Um, so I mean the difference between the other bins seem obvious. You've got a small bin and then you've got a big bin right wherever it is. It was down here wasn't it? Uh, okay anyway you saw it we put it down. Then we have the toxic waste bin. A resilient receptacle contains waste in a more respectable attractive and hygienic manner. Um, so I think it's got a good volume, maybe a bit less than a big bin perhaps, but it remains hygienic for longer. It doesn't, 
it doesn't become as fetid as quick and given that people are being sick into these a lot in particularly in higher levels and stuff like that people are likely to run to a bin to be sick so yeah yeah and i like the fact that this is a ward right so there probably would be medical waste so we're going to have a toxic waste bin i think i think that would be i think that'd be rather smashing um right now let's see here what else could we put in here should we just i think we might accept this for the moment and um because what we can do is we can go into items um I also like this view actually on items I find things much easier to find particularly as you unlock more and more and more as well and I've become quite fond of it so we can see here that it's a fairly attractive location you can see the items that are giving attractiveness to the room um, but this area looks like it needs something doesn't it definitely but what pictures do we have we're a bit limited at the moment um, we don't want anything too expensive. Oh, look at this a painting of a dog. Maybe it's a famous dog. Should we have that? Oh, look. And then I think we'll get this one as well. The next best thing from really being there. A distant second into... Admittedly. Right, I don't know why I had trouble reading that word. But I did. Let's put them above the beds. Look at that. I sort of wish that I could put um, these by by the beds you know maybe if we could have a little drip or something um that we could put next to the beds um might look kind of nice not sure something like that so it feels like we need something medical that we can put quite close to the neck next to the the beds oh another question that i had about the ward as well actually was about the beds somebody said if you put the beds next to each other like this is that a problem usually no <laughs> it is here and this is why um, so we could move this bed, for example, here, uh, and that would be totally fine. Because they can access these beds. You can see when it's a red thing, you can see these footprints um, either side, right? And you've got one at the end of the bed. Now, the one at the end of the bed is where the nurse will stand and they write on their little chart board and all that sort of business. The feet either side is where they can get into the bed. So it doesn't matter if you block one side off. As long as they can still access one side, you're good. So we can have beds up against walls like this. They don't need access uh, from both sides. It's the same with these plants, for example. So you can see that the plant actually has feet um it does it's hard to get it to show but it has feet on all four sides so as long as one is available so they can access a plant it's fine it's totally fine so if they've got multiple places to access the item you can block some of those as long as one is available so i hope that answers uh, that question hope that clears that one up um what else can we put over here i feel like we the attractiveness seems a bit low here um i suppose it'd be nice to, to get a plant in here but i i like i like um to be honest this being here and stuff i think this is probably good enough um we don't need to worry about this we can see this whole hospital is is perfectly comfortable this is a comfortable temperature um this sort of yellow uh when it goes blue it's too cold when it's going orangey red it's too warm um you probably get away with a light orange but as soon as you start seeing red no 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 right now we're going to need somebody to work in the ward you can have multiple nurses work in a ward if you want uh it's only a small ward don't think we'll need it um we've got a nurse here who i noticed has ward management training which is fantastic which gives them a boost in diagnosis treatment and ward skills ward management skills so what we're going to do first of all we're probably going to just give him a bit of a pay rise so he's not just satisfied with his pay oh my god but he's happy with his pay there he is um and I'm quite happy with him. Look, he's hygienic and he's a fast learner. I like our nurse. What we're going to do is we're going to specialise him, however, to the ward. I think that's what we're going to do. We could probably let him do general diagnosis as well. Um, so that will be good. And he'll stop working in the pharmacy. So we need a new nurse. And we've got the perfect one here. She does have a short temper and she is mm, maybe not the perfect one then maybe not perfect 
Uh, she drops litter around the office. She needs to go to the toilet more and she, she's got a, a bad temper. Now, there is training available future in the game that would actually deal with two of those problems. She's not necessarily the worst nurse to employ. Um, as long as right now she will do. I would rather take her with her pharmacy management skills so she's better at this than somebody who doesn't have it and he's got short temper anyway so and we'll get somebody to pick up the rubbish and all the rest of it so we'll be all right and there is training later on so we can improve her because we don't get training on this level but we will get training and we can come back and deal with her um so and we're going to take her off ward duties there we go perfect so that's our ward which was an issue right so let's just get this going slowly I'm just gonna let it tick over slowly let's yes yes so oh hang on we don't have a staff room we should probably pop one of those down first we'll pop a staff room down and then <laughs> Um, we'll talk about the, the room prestige and things like this. We'll probably make this a small staff room. I wonder if we could just make this a slightly more interesting staff room. Probably not. This'll do. This, this is, it's a bit bigger, isn't it? Um, Attention. Urinating anywhere in the hospital will not be tolerated. Good. I'm pleased to hear it, to be honest with you. Pleased to hear it. Right. And then we have to have a sofa as well. Um, in this room now what do we have here do we have oh look yes we do have the television reduces boredom I like the idea now what I've noticed is yes there is static Attention. on this TV anywhere in the hospital will not be tolerated. I'm sure you just said that right it has static on it but I noticed that this does not have static on it it has a picture on it i am sort of hopeful that we might get adverts you know you hear these adverts all the time on on two point radio wouldn't it be great if they had picture adverts for the television oh my god that'd be amazing so great the machine upgrade is complete make sure we've got a few fire extinguishers dotted around to keep our precious machine safe bungle technologies are grateful for our continued support with their psychiatry patients and have given us access to one of their machines the extractor pan this high-tech gadget is great for removal of unwanted kitchen utensils look out for people in need of this continue expanding the hospital to unlock some more technology buying another plot of land nearby will give us more space to develop thank you very much thank you very much we're a little bit busy on our staff room and we really want to talk about this subject that seems to be confusing some people so we're going to i'm going to try my best it's quite involved right it is quite involved um everything about this game is quite involved um now we should definitely put some so we probably won't cover absolutely everything about them but hopefully we can cover enough to just sort of reduce some confusion um and get some fairly clear information I went to a holistics nature commune last week to see what they could do about my gravy allergy they recommended a long stay at their spa and a bottle of rosemary extract it cost me a month's wages but I'm finally starting to feel the effects still can't eat gravy though <laughs> okay should we pop this here just a little little nook Oh look, we have the rug. I forgot about this. I have um, various different versions of this game running at the moment. And I forget which what I have in which game, uh, which saves. And because uh, I've been streaming a lot. Uh, now, I'll tell you now. My streams are a little bit different to my series. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh look, there's two massive turds on the floor. Oh. <laughs> right. 
Where, where are you off to now? Jesus. No, no. What is limping now? Oh, no. It's like turning into slapstick. There's a problem in this hospital, everybody. Hells yeah. <laughs> done in. It's done in, mate. Yeah, so they are a little bit different. <laughs> um, I don't necessarily play the game as much on stream, but um, do stuff in the game that the audience wants me to do, be it set fire to things. We um, have researched and unlocked um, almost everything now. And uh, if they want to see an illness or a machine or anything like that, anything that they may want to see, I will um, endeavour to find it and show them. And yeah, so it tends to result in a lot of chaos. Yes. So now what you can see is that each time I place an item in the room, this little yellow bar pops up. So if I pull that out, can you see it goes down? And if we place it back in, pop. Right, okay. So this is how um, you add prestige to, to a room. Certain items have a pre prestige value, including windows, um, and and increases this. Level five is the, is the highest you can have a room. That's the highest prestige level you can have for a room. So if you hit um, level four, it's a pretty good room, right? It's it's a pretty good room. You're doing you're doing well. Um, so we are very very close. So I feel encouraged to try and complete. Um, just that there it is level four, right? It it just sort of feels when you've come this far <laughs> that we sort of probably should. So let's look here. Hospital level. The hospital level is a measure of the overall size of your hospital based on the rooms and staff. Having a higher hospital level means that you will attract more patients and job applicants. And you'll notice that when we hire, it does say here, look, increases. Um, we unlock this at level five. I'm not entirely sure the maximum level. I think it's 20. Uh, but don't hold me to that. I can certainly find out though and confirm in a future episode. That's not a problem. I can find out. So when we build uh, new areas of a hospital, um, it would help with our level. Larger rooms that are more uh, that have greater prestige and lot and are very attractive will help our hospital level. The more valuable our equipment is, uh, the hospital level goes up. Uh, lots of things can help with your hospital um, uh, level and it tends to be things that are based around value. Now your reputation. So your reputation is based on the outcome of patients visits, the happiness of people in the hospital, the prices you charge and other publicly um, the hospital receives and other publicity. What's wrong with me? Uh, the hospital receives. Having a high reputation means you will attract more patients and job applicants. Okay. So that's all quite self-explanatory. Um, when it's the, ha the happiness of the people uh, in your hospital. So again, that's the re another relation with having really good rooms. Staff happiness and visitor happiness work in a slightly different way. So a staff member has happiness modifiers that actually go up over time um, because they spend longer in the hospital and whatnot whereas a visitor tends to have an almost instant uh, boost from entering a room uh, that that is beautiful and um, functions well right so that's that's attractive so they tend to get an instant boost um, and also you can have staff members that are trained in making patients happier when they when they deal with them that i think patients also have a um, instant happiness boost just for getting their appointment so um, they would have become happier just because their appointment is now um, so that's the sort of thing that happens here a staff member of course has um, a, 
you know you ha you have to look after them over time so that tends to be a modifier that ticks over slowly they don't get an instant boost when they go into a beautiful room it builds up over time um so it's better to have your whole hospital beautiful so wherever your staff members go that that happiness is is always quite high right um so yeah so being seen fast getting their appointments quickly and having beautiful rooms to go to will keep your patients happy prices of course you can change everything we don't really do it um, but we will at some point so at some point I'm going to want this up nice and high so you can either do it separately you see like we can even say hey I want the arcade machine to charge more than uh, five doubloons um, and you can do that or you can just do it like a, a global and it will affect how they feel about your pricing which ultimately also affects your overall reputation of the hospital and every time you cure somebody you gain reputation every time you kill somebody you lose it the more if you have a high reputation expect a lot of people to come to your hospital so it's all well and good having a small hospital like this and curing them all but this reputation will go up and you'll start seeing more and more people come in the door which means queues right you have to deal with that volume and then you're what you'll tend to notice is that hospitals become overrun people start dying the reputation falls and then the hospital starts to become under control again because the staff can cope with the l lowered levels you see so that's i hope i hope that helps um we'll learn more as we go through the series and there's all sorts of there's all sorts of details in this game that i'd like us to to focus on and and learn about um tr training can really really help more than you might think um and even these these small items where you think well, what's the point plus one diagnosis plus one treatment honestly do it it really does work um but yeah so that's levels reputation and prestige and how it affects happiness on staff and on visitors and um, I think we've sort of run out of time now I may have overrun just a little bit talking about it but I just wanted to get that clarified moving forwards as we build this hospital further and move into bigger and better things because understanding the fundamentals means that we'll be able to hopefully control things before they get too crazy as we expand in the future Thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button as long as you are here why not check out one of my delectable videos available feel free to come stalk me on social media and be sure to share this video with friends so even more may watch my shizwa see you next time peeps